Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To set the properties for images you have inserted, right click the image and click Picture Properties. Then, in the Picture Properties dialog box on the Appearance tab, you can select a wrapping style to define how text should wrap around your picture. In the Layout section, you can select an alignment for the picture, set a border thickness, and set horizontal and vertical spacing. If you'd like, you can specify the size of the picture in terms of width and height, also in terms of pixels or percent of the current version of the picture. You may want to have Keep Aspect Ratio selected to ensure that you do not distort your image. Then, on the General tab, you can click the Picture File Type button to select a new file format for your picture. As you make changes here, you'll notice that the changed size is displayed in the upper right corner of the dialog box. If this changed size is larger than the original size, you may want to cancel your changes. With GIF selected, you have the options in the Settings section to make it either interlaced or transparent. With interlace selected, the picture is painted in bands that show up gradually and move their way into the full downloaded high quality version of the picture. If you select JPEG in the Settings section, you can set the quality and progressive passes of the image. The higher the quality number, the larger the file size, but also the better the image quality. If you set a number of progressive passes, the image will gradually download showing the lower resolution versions of the image as the picture downloads. Then, as more and more of the file downloads, the progressive passes will display better and better quality versions of the picture until the picture is finished downloading. When you're done selecting options here, click OK. In the Alternative Representations section, you can click the Browse button at the right end of the Low Res field to select a low quality version of the picture to display while the high quality version downloads. This will give your visitors an idea of what it is they're waiting for. Then, you should enter a short description into the text field that will display in text only and other special types of browsers. Also, some browsers may display this text if a visitor rolls their mouse over the image and holds the pointer there for a moment. If you have a long description of the picture, you can click the Browse button at the right end of the Long Description field and select that file. In the Default Hyperlink section, you can click the Browse button at the right end of the Location field to select a page that the image will link to if a visitor is to click the image. If you're using a framed site, you may also need to click the Change Target Frame button at the right end of the Target Frame field to select a frame. When you're done with all of the options here, click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.